American battery metals, global battery metals, and Sun Hydrogen stocks update. So we'll begin with American battery metals. American battery metals closed the session of the 12th of February 2021 at $3.84 and uh, it traded a, a volume of 3.9 million shares below average it, it, it indicated there and we have a position there we have to indicate that to you it has a market cap of 1.8 billion dollars it has been increasing over this market cap has been increasing over the last um, couple of couple of months yes as a matter of fact if not weeks and uh, 479.89 million shares outstanding and um, let's see what we whether we can find any short interest for ABML So we have a short interest increase of 333%. It's currently at uh, 3.7 million shares relative to the entire float. It's um, what fraction is that? So it's rough close to 10, 1% of the entire float at so short, so, so short. It's still something. If a stock moves uh, 1% in a day, then uh, it is something, you know. Um, so, um, that's not interesting as much as this, you know, not exactly uh, that significant, but um, yeah, it can cause an effect, you know, just for a day, just for a day. And um, so technically, it appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend. There is no doubt about that. Correcting, okay, um, longer, this is the bullish trend. That's 50, that's the 200 day trend line. This, oh, it's upward looking. So is it correcting? Um, it's at three dollars ninety-three. That's uh, it closed at three dollars eighty-four, and we have this high of um, four o eight. So four o eight. Ten percent of that could could that be correcting? Um, Okay, well, it's called a correction, correcting, but maybe I don't think it has. It has now left that correction mode, and um, but um, yes, what we're doing, what the, what we're getting here says it is correcting uh, within a longer term bullish trend line. Although its MACD is presently below the signal line, shares remain 613.9 percent above an upward sloping 200 day moving average. It is outperforming the S and P 500 index. Momentum for American battery metals, as measured by 14 period slow stochastic oscillator, is waning. Okay, we can see this price sort of change is indicating that it is actually in a negative, negative 5.8%. This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be taking profits in positions but at lower prices. That is likely what is going on. The unbalanced volume indicator. Has given uh, is shows that uh, long longer term accumulation has given way to near term selling pressure by traders. Yes, it seems that is uh, most certainly the case as well. Okay, and we can see it is no longer. It's still very much in the um, overbought um, um, spectrum, but uh, not in the absolute overbought territory. So uh, yes, some momentum has uh, has lost some momentum. Has been moving sideways of late since um, since the second of February. So we are talking about uh, close to um, two weeks now, or thereabout, um, which may not be exactly be up to um, may not exactly be up to fourteen trading sessions. But it has been moving sideways. Um, yes, and um, the last time I it probably did something like that was. Um, Late February, late December 2020, it moved sideways for about, um, yeah, up to early January, mid January, as a matter of fact. So, so we, that, that's uh, close to a month of uh, sideways movement. So, could that be what we're going to have today? I'm sorry, this time around.
No, it doesn't necessarily follow. And the good thing is that it has the price in the, in that time it has moved sideways, given that it also yeah in in, in the time it has moved sideways from the second of February. Yes, the ten day trend line has um, caught up with it. So the trend ten day trend line is indicating a price of three dollars eighty three, and it closed at three dollars eighty four. So yes, you know, um, it's cool enough, and that's exactly what we we all want. You know, if you want to get into the stock, you want it to cool off a bit, you know, and then um, other market participants are equally looking at all of these things. So um, yeah, if you want to jump in, and um, if you think if you feel if you feel it has cooled off a bit, you know, um, well, you could equally wait for it to cool a bit further, you know, but. Um, for market or so for certain market participants, it is a buying opportunity. So um, you decide if whether it's, you're going to jump in, you know. And as usual, if you're going to jump in, be careful. Not a lot of money. Um, just invest what you're going to, what you can afford to lose. Okay. So we will move on to uh, global battery metals. Global battery metals uh, closed that session of the the twelfth of February, twenty twenty one, at uh, zero point. Nine zero eight dollars, a loss of one point seven one percent, and a volume of seven hundred seven hundred fifty seven thousand six hundred uh, shares, which is uh, below average. And um, we have it that it has a market cap of fifty three point three million dollars, forty six point three four nine million shares outstanding. Okay, let's see whether we can get a short squeeze, short interest on. Uh, Global battery metals. Okay, it, uh, the inch, short interest increased by two thousand two hundred forty, standing at uh, three hundred eighteen thousand two hundred, and um, relative to what its share flow, what it is, what its float is. Yes, it also indicates that it's just like a uh, global battery battery metals, close to one percent, but not up to one percent as well. So global battery metals appears to be in a strong bullish trend. Let us have a look. Strong bullish trend. Um, okay, we can see it's uh, tipping over, unless uh, it is um, a cumulative uh, analysis, a, cum a, cum a cumulation of um, a uh, broader, a much more, yeah, a broader um, set of. Uh, um, 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 data. So this is the 8th of um, February, and th that that high was um, that high was um, one dollar fifty one. So easily it has it is um, easily correcting in the correct correction mode based on what we can what we are looking at, but. Um, what we are reading out here is uh, saying some other thing. Okay, it's uh, strong. Appears to be in a strong bullish trend. Its 200-day moving average is upward sloping, and the MACD histogram is above zero. Comparative relative strength strength analysis shows that it is outperforming the S&P 500 index. Momentum for global battery metals, as measured by 14 period slow stochastic oscillator, is waning. We can see that it's um, not as strong as it was before. And it's currently at 724.3%. At some point, it was uh, way high up at 1,329.6%. Uh, this means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be taking profits in positions more than lower prices. There's no doubt about that. The fact that it has declined um, um, uh, since uh, that 8th of uh, February um, closed down one. Two, three, or four sessions downwards. So yes, this definitely as a result of uh, selling activities. You know, so um, they're definitely, uh, obviously, definitely not ag as aggressive as they were um, on the seventh of February, um, when they uh, pushed that price up to um, one dollar fifty something or thereabout. So the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Okay, so um, well, okay, yeah, you know, 
if um, the buyers could be more active than sellers but um, if um, the sellers are selling more shares um, ultimately then um, they will carry the day I you know no doubt about that so um, well it's uh, has definitely provided a, a better window of opportunity for people to jump in you know given that um, for those who couldn't jump in there you know the opportunity is presenting itself but um, um, yeah, and it's even cl much closer to its 10-day uh, trend line which uh, trend day trend line the price for that 10-day trend is 85 cents and it's currently at 91 cents so if that is enough um, correction if that is enough pullback for you yes you can always jump in and that's always it's a small amount of money you know and if you if you believe that it's going to cool back um, cool down or pull back a lot further you can always wait and see how it goes but the good thing is that um, we, it's always good to see the stock pull back a bit so that um, you know um, it's you know you, you'll be you're, more, you're a lot more confident and much more comfortable looking at it because in as much as we all want the stock to skyrocket out of uh, the uh, into the you know, into space we also are very scary I mean it's very 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 scared when the stock price is um, skyrocketing as well you know it's a, it's comes with um, a mix uh, sentiments you know so um, yeah if it's cooling down yeah um, that's good and um, uh, it's much more realistic you know it's this much more more like uh, the sort of stuff you know you would expect from stock it goes up comes down and uh, you know so if you want to jump in jump in um, on uh, global battery, battery metals but as usual with a small amount of money not anything you can not no, not not anything you can't afford to lose okay so um, we we'll move on to um, Sun Hydrogen Sun Hydrogen closed that session of the 12th of February at uh, 0 0.1711 dollars and it, that was a loss of 2.12 percent and uh, 75.7 million shares uh, were, were traded which is above average and uh, yeah we have to uh, notify you that we have a position in that as well so let's update this so we have a position in sun hydrogen so um, It has a market cap of uh, 517.2 million dollars 2.845 million billion shares are outstanding quite a huge a hefty um, float so um, let's see if we can find the short interest on uh, sun hydrogen okay it increased by uh, 731 percent and the short interest is uh, 11.882 million shares in relative terms relative to its float that will be um, um, okay not up to 10 percent a 10 percent of this float will be, sorry one percent of this float float will be 28.45 million shares so that is below the sh below the um, that 10 10 percent even probably less than uh, 0 0.5 percent but uh, it is still something it can cause um, effects it can leave uh, effects on the stock price itself so um, technically sun hydrogen appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend although it's my D is uh, below the signal line shares remain 191 point nine percent above an upward sloping moving up 200 day moving average okay yes um, we'll come back to that momentum for some hydrogen is strongly bearish okay the spotting period slow stochastic oscillator is falling yes and um, as in as investors uh, sell shares and drive the price lower okay so this, look at the um, price set of change which is associated with uh, of, of which momentum is associated with is um, currently at uh, minus uh, 30, 30, 31.6 percent so the unbalanced volume indicator is bearish the slope of the indicator is negative and suggests that uh, 
there is a lack of buying interest so um, yes given all of this you know um, you also this also presents you an, a, a chance to be a an, a, 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 um, a skeptic or rather um, a contrarian sorry so when all those are losing interest that is when you should be gaining interest you know so when you can see that the stock is currently trading below its short-term trend lines it's now approaching the intermediate we're talking about term um, and uh, yeah something it's not in the short term it is not expensive in the short term it is way more than cheap going by what its uh, short-term trend lines are saying the short-term trend the price for each short-term trend line at uh, the 10-day trend line so price is indicating a price of uh, 0.21 dollars the 50 20 days indicating a price of $0.23 dollars and it's at 0.17 dollars so it's now approaching its 50-day uh, trend line which is at uh, 0.15 dollars so while interest has been lost in the stock you know it's it's um, not bad not a bad idea to gain interest because you know it is you know they have been there pushing up the price they're taking their money out you know so it is it might be now the time for you to jump in it's trading at 17 cents you know jump in with a small amount of money not that lot of money you know um, and also all, all of these stocks are in the long run they are long-term investments you know so put a small amount of money 20 30 dollars pick up a few shares and see how it goes you know so um, the same market participants who jumped out may still jump back in some of them have the money that moves uh, stocks and the markets so they could be going they be, they, they, their funds could be elsewhere doing whatever they're doing and when they come back when they look at things and when they see that it has cool enough they come back and come back in the people who brought it down to 17 cents may also be the people who uh, pushed it off from um, somewhere down here at um, zero uh, seven cents you know so uh, they are watching they're watching this and um, you know it will not always continue to decline it may still uh, run back up and um, you know all of this since the fact that it uh, reached a price of uh, 30 cents you know indicates that um, there's a good chance that they could uh, still uh, return up there again and even beyond you know sometimes when stocks pull back they tend to even and uh, um, surpass their uh, their previous uh, all-time records you know so um, as always if you're going to invest it which is it's with a small amount of money and you know and nothing not not anything you can't afford to lose okay so if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're already a subscriber thank you very very much for pushing our subscriber count uh, past 1000 and uh, but we also noticed that uh, over the last week we had more than 10,000 unique viewers and if all these unique viewers uh, subscribed we would have a subscribe account that is at best up to 12,000 so thank you very much and uh, subscribe thank you